everyone, my name's Haley. Um, I did the online TEFL course through ITA so I could get certified and teach here in Madrid, Spain. Originally, I am from Chicago and I moved here at the beginning of 2018 in January. If you think of any questions along the way for me about being an ESL teacher abroad, it's very loud. <laughs> um, just send me a message on Instagram and I'm happy to respond. We are now in my room, and yes, my room does have a sink. I have no idea why my room has a sink. It's not a typical thing of Spain. Do not take that away from this video that rooms in Spain have sinks. So the reason why I did my TEFL course online was because I was working full time and I couldn't, it would be impossible for me to do it in person. But I will say it did prepare me to teach and I would recommend it to anyone that does not have a lot of time. So now we're in the basement slash living room of my flat and I just want to talk a little bit about my classes, um, the groups that I teach and what I think about it. So about 60% of my classes are in company classes with business professionals, which means I just go to their work and I teach them a class in their work. And I also have one class with kids in their home and then I also nanny every If it sounds like I work a lot, it's because I do. Um, and I have to travel to every single class and every single gig slash job that I have. And that's how it is for most teachers here in Madrid. However, it's, it's so worth it. Like, I, I honestly and truly really, really love teaching and I love what I do. But also it allows you to live in Europe and travel. So even if you have to work a lot, it's worth it. So the best advice that I can give to a brand new teacher in any country, not just Spain, is that when you first get there, say yes to everything. Every opportunity, every person that reaches out to you to grab a drink or hang out, you have to do it. I know that doesn't seem like much, but it is. For me, it was it meant going way out of my comfort zone because sometimes I would be tired, sometimes I would feel like I wanted to unpack instead of meet a new friend, but trust me. Okay, I'm on my way home now. I had two classes and nannying today, so actually that's a pretty uh, slow day for me. Usually I'm working a lot more than that, but yeah, it was a long day and I'm happy to be done. So I'm finishing the night with a glass of red wine and hummus. You know, delicacies of Spain. I'm super cultured now that I'm here. But in all seriousness, I had a really fun time taking you around with me today, and I hope you had fun too. I hope you learned something, and if you want to learn something else, again, send me a message on Instagram. I'm so happy to help you and answer anything. Okay, one last thing. I just want to say, if you have the thought that you want to teach abroad, do it. You will not regret it. It will be the best decision that you've ever made. Okay, bye. Bye.